Wow, talk about unleashing the beast. Here's your look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Titans Build-A-Figure Beast Boy. While it may not be the Beast Boy that I'm used to seeing, before we get a closer look at the Build-A-Figure Beast Boy who we've successfully been building over the last four videos, I'd like to once again thank the folks over at McFarlane Toys, yes I would, that have been providing the samples of all the brand new Titans figures we had the chance to look at on this channel. Grabbing though the tape measure now that Beast Boy's finally built, let's see how tall the figure stands. Beast Boy in this case is impressively standing at 9 inches in height. Wow! Or the figure's going to be about 23 centimeters tall. Now, comparing Beast Boy with the other Titans will be something we'll do a little bit later into this video, but I did want to at least show you guys how big Beast Boy actually is when it's all said and done. Remember how big Clayface was? Clayface in this case, providing I can actually get his legs to stand, Clayface in this case is actually shorter than Beast Boy, if you can actually believe it. Well, I guess you guys probably could believe it, as the proof was in the pudding. Beast Boy, though, doesn't come included with any accessories. Generally, it's not the case when you get these Build-A-Figures as you're building them through these waves that you tend to get anything that goes along with those Build-A-Figures. The sell of them is the fact that you're getting the chance to put them all together. Beast Boy is a good size, though. Although, honestly, me growing up in the 80s, so this is the old guy talking after all. I prefer Beast Boy just to be a normal-sized character. We are getting a gold label edition of Beast Boy that's going to be a normal size. I would have personally myself, just to throw out some ideas as the person behind the camera, I would have personally had Build-A-Figure animals. That's what I would have done instead. So instead of actually having, as we pick Beast Boy up right here, instead of actually having a full, almost Hulk-like sized Beast Boy, I think I would have actually included Beast Boy as part of the, the Titan's wave. And then through that, maybe included two animal pieces each. So you could build yourself, say, a lion. I don't know, like an eagle. You know, you get the idea. But they would have been all green colored. That's what I would have done myself. Though in hand, I will say like Beast Boy did, did turn out pretty good. He sort of has a feral face to him. You can see that he does have the little tiny, well, not so tiny chompers. Little tiny, uh, almost snaggle-like teeth sticking out the bottoms of his lip. He's got fur there on the sides of his face, pointy little ears, and of course the green colored hair on the top. The head sculpt is really good if you like this size of Beast Boy. Costume wise, actually, it's very similar to what we almost would have gotten from, I think Endgame Hulk had a very similar type of suit as this. It's, I'm guessing the idea is this would be able to stretch as he grows in size. Uh, he's got some really nice fur there on the sides of his arm. Now, I did have, you may have noticed in the earlier reviews when I was actually trying to put the arms in place, that I was finding myself frequently running my fingers across these little spiked sections of fur. And while it wasn't drawing blood at all, I did certainly feel it as I was trying to get the all the arms and all the limbs and, and everything else all put into the figure's body. For the assembly of the figure, there are a few little things that I've noticed when it comes to moving his arms. For example, every once in a while, an arm may pop out. It's fairly easy to put back in. And I found as well, like, like the figure itself is really comprised of sectional pieces. They all sort of come together with articulated points, but like rotating, that we're going to talk obviously more about in the articulation end of things, but rotating like his joints, for example, in his, his upper torso, it does leave behind a very open, obvious gap. And again, he's got the softer plastic down below for his trunks. The leg assembly also was very some, something similar that popping it in, moving the legs back and forth every once in a while, I find like the leg is popping back out. I mean, even again, like you notice how the torso so easily pops out. You may be coming across uh, not problems like that because they're fixable problems. Nothing's really necessarily breaking on this guy. But I did notice like when it comes to moving Beast Boy around, there's a lot of times that things fall off of him. His top of his torso, for example, his arms, or even the already mentioned legs. The sculpting on this suit itself is actually pretty good. So even though while there isn't a lot of paint really being happening here, the texturing that they actually managed to put into the black is looking quite good. So at least even if there's not delivering anything much in the way of paint, there's at least something for your eyes to kind of hone in on. He's got these nice little red markings that he's got on the sides of his suit that carry over the same red that he has across the front of his chest as well. The paint, for what we get at least of it, is pretty clean. And again, I like the way they've actually painted the fur on there, a darker green. And again, he's got the darker green down below here as well. Down below on his furry little feet, not so little, he has these long little nails, as you can see, he's got sticking out the tops of his toes. They're nicely colored here in a darker green. And he's got some nice fur there sticking out the bottom of his pant leg. I may have also mentioned this when we did, I don't know what review it was, where we actually took the hands and we put them in. It were, I think it was probably Raven, because I think Raven was the final figure, because we put, the, of course, the hands in, and then we put, put the head in, of course. But I did notice also that he trimmed this thumbnail, and funny enough, he left this thumbnail still sharp. 
I don't know why they took, I don't know why they didn't actually put a longer nail on this side. It's a very small criticism, but it's kind of strange the fact they didn't put a long nail on this side. And you know, he's got a long nail on this side. Okay, so let's look at the articulation on Beast Boy. So his head is going to be on a ball joint. I did actually take a fair bit of pressure to put the head onto the ball socket joint, but it seems to be staying well in place. Head does look up, head looks down, and again, you can move it back and forth as well. Here's more where the figure starts to come apart. Uh, the figure does have an upper torso ball joint, but you really can't move it around, and every time you are moving it around, it almost feels like, well, you end up just popping the top of his torso off. You can see the way that everything sort of works behind the scenes. There's a larger joint in the inside. You cannot kind of also see as well the legs. Uh, that's kind of fun, being able to actually look at the way the legs are attached in place. But then, again, we're just going to pop the torso on and with the abdomen now in place he does have an upper torso ball joint but again like moving it back moving it well off to the side it always leaves this big open gap so you're probably only going to be kept to relegating keeping this guy sort of in a more straight pose like this because anything you know again anything after that you're going to start seeing a gap leaving behind arms do come out uh well i should say they come out like this and again he's got the little socketed joints on the insides that match the color scheme that he has for the torso the red would have been nice if they could carry this over to here, just because, again, like you've got a lot of white here, and you don't have any any bit of that continuation of the red, but that's still okay. Arms rotate all the way around, though. The figure does have a bicep swivel, although you're really not going to be able to rotate the bicep very well. The figure has a very clunky, large socket joint for the elbow, and the hands rotate all the way around with a hinge back and forth. As for the figure's legs, the legs split out once again, and again, while you are moving the legs out, you're going to see kind of where everything is sort of constructed inside. Legs go move forward, they do move back. A swivel at the top of the thigh. Figure possesses a double hinge on the knee. And then he does have articulation, not only the feet back and forth, they also rock back and forth. And the figure of Beast Boy does also have toe articulation. Don't get too close to those feet. All in all, you know, it's not a bad looking Beast Boy. Here's where my problem is, it, not so much even a problem, but the fact that for me, like thinking of Beast Boy, I tend to think of a smaller character, smaller build character, similar to what we would have gotten with like, oh, I don't know, like the Titans. So again, like bringing the Titans in right now, for example, there's, there's what he looks like with Arsenal. My personal favorite, here's also what he looks like with Raven, if I can get Raven to stand okay. Bring in also Donna Troy, great looking figure as well for that one. I did mention in that review, she would make a perfect Wonder Woman. And then again, we also start our reviews with Nightwing. A good lineup of Titans figures. But again, for me, I would only consider, and this again is the old guy talking in the room, so if nobody wants to hear the old man talking, just sort of plug your ears. But I personally would have gone with maybe a regular sized Beast Boy instead of giving an oversized one. And I would have used then the build a figure opportunities instead, rather of building a larger Beast Boy, I would have used instead those component pieces to build animals. The Beast Boy obviously is turning always into beasts. It would have been nice if they could have included, I think, build a figure beast pieces, maybe two animals. Two animals, because again, they'd probably be a, you could do like a rhinoceros, or you could do like a lion, or maybe even like a bird. Could be something also that they could consider to do as a later released accessory add-on. Why not? Throw in all these green colored animals that could go along to be the transformations of Beast Boy. But if you like this oversized version of Beast Boy, the colors are good. The sculpting is really good. And while I'm not as crazy about the size of Beast Boy, I think all in all though, he turned out to be a great looking figure. So that gold label edition Beast Boy that I've mentioned a couple of times over these Titan reviews is actually going to be, again, a gold label release. But one of the accessories that's going to come along with that figure is going to be one of its transformed animal states. It's either going to be a falcon or it's going to be an eagle. It's some flying bird that's going to be all done in green, which is great. Obviously, if you guys wanted to get a more regular sized Beast Boy and not as crazy about the Hulk one that we get in this Build-A-Figure wave, there's always that option to go with. Obviously, though, if you have been collecting the Titans Wave, as I've been collecting the Titans Wave, through that, the finish line goal is the fact that you're going to be getting this hulking version of Beast Boy. For what he is, he's a good-looking figure. One thing I will say is a, as a good defending point to the figure is if you are collecting these figures with the idea of building something at the very end of it, you like to think that there's going to be a rewarding experience at the very end when you're putting everything together. What you don't want to do is want to be putting together a figure, a build a figure, and then realize it's the same size as all the other figures that you've gotten from that wave. That's sort of underwhelming at least in this case we actually get a large looking beast boy and the sculpting on this guy is fantastic i like the bright colors that they use for the green and even though he does have a very hulk like sort of body and even a very hulk like similar suit to him he's a nice looking beast boy but i am still definitely gonna be interested to get that gold label edition of beast boy where it can have a regular sized version of the character to go along with the rest of the titans still to go back and look at the titans that we looked at in this well the last five videos now my favorite is raven then i would say donna troy nightwing and then arsenal
that's that's the order I would put them in. What are your favorite figures from this wave? Let me know down below in the comment section. And also, if you don't mind me just throwing out a question to you guys. When it comes to actually Beast Boy for this particular wave, would you have preferred a large version of Beast Boy, which we ultimately did get instead, or in this case, or instead, would you have preferred to have Build-A-Figure Animals? Something that I threw out there as a possible idea. Let me know down below in the comments section. Once again, though, a big thank you to the folks over at McFarland Toys that have been providing the samples of the brand new Titans Wave. And through that, we've had the chance to now build Beast Boy. Once again, a big thank you to them for that. If you guys enjoyed this video, why not hit it with a like? If you guys are loving the content you guys are seeing, certainly want to stick around for more because we will be doing some more multiverse figure reviews. There's a couple of Flash figure reviews, just an FYI, that we are going to be looking at or might even have already looked at depending on when I'm going to be uploading them onto the YouTube channel. But definitely if you want to make sure that you're not missing out on any of that, Nothing at all, nothing at all. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and that you're also turning on the bell notification. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.